Let me turn my mic on too. A couple of hiccups there. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, some technical difficulties on our end. Uh, we should be good to go though. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us live and everyone watching uh, on YouTube. Uh, before we kick off though, per usual, uh, we are a charity uh, website. So all donations go towards charity. If you guys can donate, there are links down below for American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and also for Red Cross uh, to help out with the hurricane efforts. Uh, if you guys can donate, please do. If you guys can't donate, we also send over all our funds from uh, ads, uh, either from YouTube videos or our echo5studios.com on over two. So what we can do to help us out is just like, subscribe, follow us on all the Instagrams, the Twitch, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube, and check us on echo5studios.com. Uh, we can't tell you guys to click on the ads, but like I just mentioned, all the money from ads goes towards charity too. So do the information as you will. And without further ado, James, we had another successful uh, For the Walking Dead episode, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, man, and a uh, little bit of prediction there that, uh, you know, that came through uh, a couple of weeks ago when you uh, caught the little error in uh, The Talking Dead, where um, Mercedes uh, Madison, I mean, Mercedes Madison said, uh, Mercedes Mason talked about the prosthetic makeup that the walkers wear and uh i caught that too i let jay take the honor of that and then i texted jay and told him when i watched the episode again that uh she clearly got bitten by that zombie uh falling from the uh fan and that she, she right on the left shoulder i said she was toast uh we have we have the text message to prove it um <laughs> but uh it was another good episode, man. I mean, this is like, what is this? Four in a row, almost three, three, at least three in a row. Um, I, I just, I can't tell you how much I've changed my opinion about the second half, um, especially when they started off the way they did, and and how their ending is just ridiculous. It's just, it's um, just a. You know they're they're not sparing and they're not pulling any punches here. They're they're uh, they're going for the jugular here and they're they're uh, they're ending the season in a big way and uh, they obviously killed Ophelia off, um, and which which shows that they're staying true to the original, you know, uh, the, the Walking Dead's model of nobody is safe. You know we're losing big time characters this year. It's kind of like thinning them out. So. Uh, you know, Ophelia, she was uh, around since episode uh, two, and uh, now she's perished. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, just goes to show you never go up on a show, you know, that can turn yeah. around. I uh, almost lost all faith in it, you know, but uh, yeah, definitely. I agree with that one because it started to look like season one in the first half of season two when we came back from the break, and it just you know, it started to, you know, started to take that turn where it was losing the focal point of the story and mm -hmm. giving us a little bit too much character, you know, depth that we didn't need. Um, and <laughs> this land is your land. <laughs> you know, I should say La uh, Serpentine. That was a good one. Brothers Keeper. This land is your land. Those, those three, and then. You know, El Matadoro, or the slaughterhouse, or the butcher, or whatever you want to call it. Um, unbelievable, four straight, man. I just, I'm in a loss for words. It's just, I, I, I really enjoyed this last episode. Um, but I think, I think, um, before we get on, I think that I'm, I'm stumbling on my words because we actually got some bigger news. Yes. Um, and and we're gonna get into that, but let's let's review the show first. So, uh, I, obviously, I'm stumbling on the words because I got the big news here, and I'm I'm looking at different questions that I got. I'm trying to get everything together because we did have technical difficulties. But Jay, what did you think about this episode? Um, I mean, this is the first time that we we talked about the episode during the episode, you know. So, <laughs> you know that that means it's a good one when we start texting each other about it, you know. Yeah. So. Well, we uh, we definitely uh, called it, you know, uh, with her getting bit. I think the progress. I'm kind of surprised with uh, Daniel's response to, towards the end of the episode. 
I thought it'd be a little bit more psychotic, but he does explain that in the Talking Dead why he toned it down basically a little bit. Yep. Uh, you don't want to go overboard. Um, on suspense at the same time it has to be realistic. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a good show. Uh, you know, I going back to uh, the stadium there, which is a strange place. It reminds me of like '80s kind of apoth- apocalyptic. Um, uh, what's that show? Or what's Mad that Max. Mad Max. Yeah, kind of very much like that Thunderdome esque. Yep. You know, uh, world. Um, yeah, we kind of saw Philly going, and I wouldn't surprise me with the news we heard over the weekend, which we'll get into later on, that there will be more deaths coming up either soon or next season. Uh, but we'll talk more about that and our predictions uh, as we go with that. Uh, yep. But I think it needed to happen. I think we're going to see Danielle. Uh, Salazar's character evolved a little bit here. Um, and I loved uh, loved the little uh, Nick bromance there, too. That was fun. Yeah, that, that, was, that was fun, and that was a, a unique turn. Um, I, was, I was talking to Vanessa about it, and I said, you know, this show took a lot of, had a lot of uniqueness about it, yeah. this, this week in particular. Um, Alicia... <laughs> is morphing into a Car- Carol character more yep. before our eyes. Yeah. Um, she meets up with another female survivor. Mm-hmm. Uh, what A very unique shot that they used, I think that they, they were brilliant in doing, was her going into the, the uh, play, the playpen with all the play yes. balls there. I've, I've never seen that in any zombie movie, TV show, <laughs> anything. It's that was a, the that was first for me, you yeah, know. And so. it adds a little humor ish to it too, and you got to balance out. It can't be all horror. A little humor, uh, you know. And also, while in there, you don't see this a lot either in the shows. Is a zombie, zombie kid. Yeah. You know? So and and we we haven't seen the zombie children since, you know they they uh inf- they uh made it to Mexico at in the beginning where all the children killed themselves. You know, with the uh, at, at the church, all the all the people in the church kill themselves. But this was creepy because, you know, you're in a playpen there. She's obviously trying to go incognito. She's trying, she's trying to, you know, mm-hmm. escape the walkers. Trying to keep herself hidden from the walkers. And obviously, you're in a playpen. Makes sense that a zombie child would be in there. And that was a good skirmish. Um, for for Alicia, I I thought that was a very very well um, placed scene there. It just showed you that even even you know it, it was funny in in its own sense, but it was also creepy. Yeah. Uh, just just a brilliant shot there. Um, I love the the romance with Nick and Troy. You know, could it be something that's romantic? You know, or is this something that, again, like like I talked about two weeks ago, is this, you know, and when Troy actually said this to Nick, I, I said to my wife, I said, I've been saying this for two weeks. Nick sees himself in Troy, so he's protecting himself. And, um, you know, Nick taking the step back, you know, and now he's comfortable and, and, and he's, you know he he stole the you know he stole the Vicodin from from Ophelia, yeah. and now he's back on drugs. So he's he's obviously it's it's you know reminds me of Nurse Jackie. If anybody watched that series on Showtime, you know she she uh, was a she was a nurse. Anybody who's watched the series knows what I'm talking about. She was a nurse and she was she was addicted to painkillers. There was one part of I think it was a season two or season three where she actually you know went sober for a year and on her year anniversary. You know, she she looked into her wedding ring box and saw that, you know, she put a wedding ring and a pill in in um in the middle of her wedding ring to remind her that the pain the painkillers is what cost her her marriage. But after a year of being sober, she opened up the wedding box, and she took the pill and and um you know she took the pill and and it, it showed that even after a year of being sober, you're still an addict. You know, you you it doesn't go away. And I think that this was a this was very similar to that where Nick just, you know, he, he took the Vicodin. Now he's, he's back to being addicted and now they're eating brain stems. And it's just, a, I actually like this twist to it because now you're starting to see Nick become vulnerable and you're starting to see mm-hmm. Troy 
step back and it shows his part of the bromance where he cares about Nick and he's he's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, because not you just like you said, you know, it was Nick and we're all kind of like, what the hell's Troy doing? You know, it's bringing down Nick. Why is Nick yeah. even hanging out with him now? So the, you know, the table's flipped and it's like, what the hell's Troy doing there? You know, he's trying to get yeah. him out of this dodgy ass bar and there's Nick being a, a douche and it's just. It's funny. It's like two sides of the same coin, you know. They kind of, they really yeah. do need each other. And not only do they need each other, but you know, Troy, you know, Nick learned from Troy early in the season mm-hmm. how to be a soldier in in a, in a way. Yeah. Troy is learning from Nick how to be crafty or how to be, you know, like a learning that thiever, thievery, the chameleon like style of Nick, where Nick you know, puts the blood on himself and walks with the walkers. Yeah. Troy, you know, he's he's in that attic. You know, he's he take he took the brainstem too, so he's actually living life through Nick's eyes now instead of reverse. So Troy pointing out that Nick sees himself in Troy, mm-hmm. actually sees himself in Nick. So it's like like Jay said, it's the other side of the coin, and I like how they did that because. You got one side of it, and you do have one side of that bromance. There has to be another side, especially that Troy had pointed out. So, another great, you know, another great storyline for Fear of the Walking Dead is this relationship. How is this going to turn? Elise's new relationship, and you know, you know, she found she finds a female warrior that she can cling to. Remember, she's still a teenager; she's still impressionable. Yeah. Um, Madison. <clears throat> You know, she she uh, delivers Ophelia to to, uh, to Daniel Salazar, and at the last minute, Ophelia perishes from the, from the from the infection. So it's just like, what a reversal! You know, Madison brought a a Walker to the pirates and used the Walker against the pirates, and it's almost like the exact opposite. She didn't want that to happen this time, so it's almost like a karma kind kind of thing here. Um, and, and then, you, you know, you see Salazar, like Jay said, you know, he explained on, on Fear the Walking Dead, he had to tone it back a little bit and, um, he didn't, you know, kill Madison, but, um, I think Salazar understands that this was his punishment, you know, losing his daughter. And it, and it was almost like a, you know, it was almost like a, you know, a closing of, of a chapter for him when he heard that his daughter said she'd look forward to getting to know him, almost like saying, I'm at peace now because, you know, my daughter was trying to find the real me. I understand. And I understand why she died. So it, just all together. And then the mystery with Strand um, and what he's going to bring to these people, obviously, is something big. I mean, it's just gearing up for a great uh, season finale. I just this this season is is taking some leaps and bounds. I think it's better than season seven of The Walking Dead. Yep. And now I'm thinking it's better than season three of The Walking Dead. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's kind of like jumping over its, its predecessor. And uh, it's it's not as good as season six and season you know season five and whatnot, and season two. But it's better than a couple of these uh, slower Walking Dead seasons, and that's pretty damn good because this show was, I think, was on the brink of of people just losing interest altogether. Oh yeah. So I, I was one of them. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, you know, you got to take one on a chin. You, you love, I love zombies, so I have to watch it, you know, but it was starting to get to that point, like Z Nation, the show Z Nation for me, I can't watch it, you know, I just can't do it, yeah. and it was starting to get there for me, so, um, but hell of an episode, man, um, not my favorite episode, because I, I still, I still say, uh, the prior episode was the best episode um, to me and the season premiere. Yeah. Um, even though it didn't top those two episodes, it didn't have to. It was still good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of good scenes, character building, yeah. you know. Really good. Set up the stage for what's coming up next. Once again, the group is split. Yep. Um, you know, you have Strand and Daniel obviously going back to uh yep. the dam mm-hmm. with uh madison and uh you mm-hmm. know what's gonna happen there you have you know nick staying back with troy at you know yep. thunderdome and you have alicia out there with her new uh partner in crime uh, i believe they gave her credit 
I don't think they ever said her name. I didn't see any name either. I'm trying to look at her. I'm trying to find her name now. Um, it just but says like, a, like actress's name as actress name. You know, Edwina Findley was the actress. Yeah, they says, never yeah. They never talked about her name. And, and 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 one of the questions was, what's the point? Is she the same uh, character that was in the passage? No, this is a different character, I believe. Um, and what was the whole purpose of her stealing the teeth? They said they understood that she traded the gold in. Well, that's exactly it. She was using the gold um, as sort of a barter system. Yeah. Um, so she's collecting teeth and she's collecting wedding bands and whatnot. And she's even collecting fingers um, to give over to uh, the people at the border. But um, we'll find out more about her. Um, obviously, they didn't stress too much about her. So we're going to find out more. Um yeah, a lot of people still I mean, hold on to like those almost religious superstitious beliefs, uh, you know, and you, you see that in The Walking Dead with uh, Father Gabriel yep. still, you know, these don't let go. Mm -hmm. I mean, he'll bounce back and forth like, should I believe, do I believe still? Uh, mm -hmm. but a lot of these people are still hanging on to it, you know, charms, they'll kind of keep them away. Correct. And, uh, you know, just, I think that we called this whole season... And and we just missed the finale because I, I said Salazar is going to go crazy. Yeah. He's going to see Ophelia is going to get bit and die. This is weeks ago we said this. Um, we said Ophelia was going to die. We said the ranch is going to burn down. I think these things, you know, I think with everything that they show you in Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead, you should be able to piece together the clues that they give you to, to determine the outcome of the show. I mean, they showed you know, part of the ranch burning down. They showed the, the conflict. They showed, you know, Troy going crazy. They showed the bromance beforehand. Mm -hmm. They give you a lot of clues on what's going to happen. They show what, you know, Salazar and Ophelia, they showed how they were split. And you, you kind of had that feeling that they were never going to make that, you know, that reunion that they were supposed to make. So, um, like I said, just, just watching this show and it, it's the anticipation for the finale now. Um, yeah. What else can we say about it? <laughs> I'm excited. Do you have any I am too, for the, uh, for the uh, it's, I think it's going to take mostly uh, take place mostly at the dam. Do you think? Uh, what do you think is going to happen? We're going to get another big death. Yeah. Um, if not, it's going to set up for another big death. Um, we're going to see. A bigger conflict. I think the dam is under is going to be under attack here. Mm -hmm. um, the leadership is going to be, you know, under attack. We're going to see a lot of conflict between Strand and Salazar. They teased that when Madison said you're scared of him, and you know, Strand said, "Hey, look, you're bringing him back, his dead, you know, almost dead daughter, and you're bringing, you're asking for water that you don't need anymore. What do you think he's going to do to you?" So it's like Strand has this, you know, Strand has this fear of Salazar uh, and Salazar, you know, has this mistrust in Strand. So it's like that's going to come to a head. Um, I think that Nick and Troy, I think that they're going to cause something big to happen and, and, and somebody's going to get hurt because of it. Um, yeah, definitely. And I think that they just teased, you know, herd walking a little bit there. Um, and then, uh, that's my new term, herd walking. And then, um, and then I think Alicia and the new girl, one, uh, I think the new girl's her time, you know, her time isn't going to be that long for some reason. I just get the, I get a feeling that she's not going to be around too much longer. I guess the uh, character doesn't get a name. It's, it's... Yeah. I just think that she's not going to be around too much longer. Just, just by the previews. I could be wrong. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot. But, uh, hey, Walker and crazy dog are probably going back to the dam too. Yes, they are. So, they. I don't. I. I think that their time is up to. Um, it's. It, it's going to be explosive, and it's going to set us up for season four. Um, new showrunner, and uh, like I said before, instead of the showrunner taking, you know, a show that's all over the place and scattered, he now whoever he or she now gets this, you know, almost completed, you know, masterpiece that they've they've taken, and it's like. Um, a zombie reference here for people who plays D Dead Island in the beginning Techland has their logo and it's like all scattered and it's you know blurry and then it comes together and it's crystal clear and sharp 
that's what Fear the Walking Dead is. It's almost like that Techland logo that mm-hmm. starts off, you know, all, you know, fuzzy and whatnot and all over the place and then comes together as a sharp, you know, a sharp product at the end. So um, whoever takes this product, you know, they don't have a shit show to work with now. They have something good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like being like relief pitcher in the bottom of the ninth and having like a like a five run nine rebound. run yeah, yeah you're, you're it's a right. nine run lead. Yeah. <laughs> just throw strikes get out of the inning you know so um but definitely but we're gearing up to something even bigger so that was the first half of our show and like i said this is improv too jay and i talked about this via text message um for for robert kirkman to make this announcement it's almost like, you know, almost like saying it has to be what we've been talking about. So Robert Kirkman came out and said one character from either Fear the Walking Dead or The Walking Dead will will cross over to the counter show. So it could be anybody from Fear showing up on Walking Dead or anybody from Walking Dead showing up on Fear. Um, I got a ton of questions. Who do you think it is? You know, it could be anybody, but I still think it's going to I still think it has to come down to Madison becoming Alpha or them remi- remixing it and making Nick Alpha. Um, I think they have to go big with this one. They can't just do, uh, you know, they can't just do Morales. You yeah, know, the, the passing you by. Can't, you can't have Morales just show up in California and say, hey, guys, how you doing? I think that that's a letdown and you can't have it where it's like Glenn you know, driving, you know, the red Mustang from California across the country. I think that's a letdown. I think you have to have something huge, something like a Madison or a Nick. Like at the end of season eight, you know, the whispers and you see like Alpha turn around and it's Kim Dickens, you know, or, you know, maybe Beta is 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 walk, you know, the guy Walker, you know, who knows? But it it has to be something big. And I think it has to. It has to do with uh, it has to do with the whispers because that's the next antagonist here. That's the next villain. Yeah. And uh, Gimple and Kirkman both said after the uh, after the All Out War, this season is going to encompass the complete All Out War storyline. So obviously, to make this announcement and know All Out War is going to end with season eight, season nine has to be in spoiler alert if you didn't read the comics. It has to be the whispers. <laughs> you know, it has to. Be. Has there been any talk of *For the Walking Dead* making to the fifth season, or I only thought it was to the fourth season, right? Yeah, and and that makes a lot of sense for for them to lose their showrunner. But I mean, what what, what a good way to cross it over, though. Where basically you know, the basically... showrunner from *Like the Walking Dead* would take over because they're going to merge somehow. So he wants to make sure it gets into the right lane, you know. Maybe. But I, I, you know, I agree though. It's got to be the Walkers. Um, or so the whispers. Uh, I think it has to be the Madison, uh, Alicia, or Nick. Uh, I'd probably give money on Madison about seventy five percent because you know Alpha. It's a motherly figure. Yep. Um, Nick, I think he's a fan favorite, and people love to see him come over. Yep. Um, Alicia, another strong female character, but then that would be. Uh, younger age for that that character, and this this doesn't really have that matron esque you know persona for her to to be the leader. I just don't think she yeah push. I don't think Walker would be big enough as a character uh, or Crazy Dog. No, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't think Daniel or Strand are gonna make it. Um, nope. So I, I I bet money, and I'd love to see uh, her as uh as alpha Alpha. oh yeah that'd be i think she's perfect i think we've been saying that for the entire time like she has like a bad person's kind of persona you know a look to her but also she's also not only she's also you know adapted to any environment and she's also she's taken those environments over albeit she's failed as a leader and she's corrupt you know she's you know destroyed a lot of these communities with some bad decisions, but she's already had, you know, practice makes perfect. Yeah. And I think they teased us a little bit with a giant walker this year that kind of looked like a beta ish walker when uh, he got struck by lightning. I, I could see them bringing in a humongous character. Like, I, they don't do stuff like that for no reason in The Walking Dead. Yeah. Like, we've never seen a giant walker before. 
You know, and now they're teasing a crossover. You know you have the Whisperers. Giant Walker equals Beta. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you keep seeing them stress uh, herd walking. Um, you know, so I, I think Jay is, I think it could be Alicia, but I think Jay is right. I think she might be too young. I think it's going to be Madison losing her kids. That's going to push her over the edge yeah. and and cause her to become alpha. Um, and I, I just see her with the connections, the southern connection there. I just see her making her way back home with the herds and 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 putting you know, and just at the end of and at the end of it all, maybe she is this female villain that you know they tease. You know, maybe she's the next you know female villain for the Walking Dead rather than fear the Walking Dead. So, yeah. and I, th- I think Nick is gonna help push her because like you look how quick he was to, like just throw blood on himself. He's so comfortable. Yep. You know, he just like he just yeah. goes among them. I think he's gonna be the one who's like, mom. Yep. Watch. Why don't we just wear them? You know, <laughs> uh, maybe like Alicia will die by like a herd of them, and Nick's like, why don't we just become them? Yeah. Know, to survive and let's take it that one step further. Or maybe they're trapped, like Alicia was trapped. Yeah. And the only way that they can get out, and maybe it's a mega herd, and maybe they have to rip the skins off. You know, and they they have to rip the skins off and cover themselves. <laughs> Or maybe she no. goes fucking batshit crazy and she skins her daughter and wears her daughter as ass. Yeah, you never know. Hey, right? <laughs> she might see that as, you know, therapeutic or honoring her or something. You never know in these universes. Maybe she'll do that to Nick. Maybe she'll yeah. honor Nick that way. You know, uh, Alpha wasn't, she didn't, it didn't show that she was wearing a female's, you know, walker suit. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's. I, I that's my prediction. A lot of people were saying, could it be Morales? Could it be Daryl Dixon? Could it be Glenn? Could yeah. this 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 one was actually a good one? Could it be Rosita, Eugene, and Abraham? One of the three of them because they were coming from the West. It's true. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's Eugene or Rosita. Maybe it's Abraham. And you also have uh, still, Nick's uh, old girlfriend there. What's her name? Can't remember right now. Uh, Lu- Luciana. 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 She's still out there. She's still out there. We don't know what happened to her, but I think that that would be a letdown if you made it Luciana crossing over to The Walking Dead. I mm-hmm. think that you have to go big here. You got to go big or go home. If you if you do something stupid like, uh, let's say they do uh, Morales mm-hmm. and he's in the Thunderdome and he just says, "Oh, hey, you know, I'm from Georgia." That that's that's completely that's a cop out. That'll piss me off because yeah. that's a waste. That, that's of like such season a, finale of, of season six. Yes. That's imagine. worse. Yeah. <laughs> you I make this so you. Yeah. You know, what if it's uh, Carol's husband? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Ed, Ed Pelletier. You know, like, who cares? Like, oh, you, have to, yeah. you, you have to make it humongous here. And or, so, uh, Jim as a walker. Yeah, there walker. you go. <laughs> you know? They zone into the tree, and Jim, and Jim stands up, and then they just show a montage of him crossing over west and ending up at the ranch get the hell out of here man come on they might like, make it east i mean what what if the dam falls in the season finale and madison's like you know where do we go next and she's just like fuck it we're going east you know we're trying to find yeah. my old family or something like that true why not and it makes a lot of sense you know you got somebody like strand and, and and you have somebody like strand who who has traveled the world he you know he's he's going all over the place you know maybe he can direct or maybe you know <laughs> I don't see Strand as a beta, but I could see, I could see Salazar as maybe a, a beta type. Not he's too too small, but I could see I could see somebody in a male, as a male, a super male, attaching themselves to Madison sooner or later. And 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 obviously she's not going to find it at the Thunderdome, and she's not going to find it at the dam. And Jay is right. You just the only options left is to go east. <laughs> so, yeah. See, man, yeah. but that'd be we'll see. Uh, and you never know. I mean, look at uh, Negan, they made him smaller. Uh, yeah, you know, Governor, they, they made him bigger. Yeah, that so maybe they make not. Strand, maybe instead of Beta being a brute and stupid, they make him Strand, who's smart and crafty, you know, you know, or maybe uh, it's completely gender swapped and she becomes the Beta. It's you never know what they're gonna do just to keep everybody on, the, on their heels, correct. Uh, but someone did mention the comments. Uh, Clementine crossover. That'd be awesome. I love her. 
That would be. And I, I think that I'm actually looking forward to I, I want to see if they actually bring Clementine in the comic because that's her real world. Like I was thinking about that mm-hmm. for the comic. Um, if you I don't want to spoil the new issues for anybody. There's a character who I thought was Clementine, but it wasn't. But to see Clementine in this show would be even better because you, you get to see, you know, hopefully it's Clementine Walking Dead season three where she's all grown up and she's like a badass. Yeah. You know, and not a child Clementine, you know. Mm-hmm. So I will I will look forward to that, too. But I still think they can go bigger. I, th- I think they have to introduce the Walkers at this point. I mean, the Whisperers at this point. They got to. Yeah. I they got to bring the timing is perfect where for the Walking Dead is perfect. ending. Walking Dead is about to hit the same time going into the next uh, chapter. Uh, yep. It's, it's going to line up perfectly where this show is going to end and the one character is going to merge over into the other one. And that's awesome. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if they had that plan from the beginning. Uh, but good on them. You know, maybe they'll keep doing it. I mean, this is like basically what we've been asking for, for background stories for, you know, Negan. And, but instead we get, you know, four seasons instead of four episodes. <laughs> yes. And you know what? I wouldn't mind, you know, if you're going to make a back a background story for something, you can make it, a, it it's complete. You can make it its own thing. Mm-hmm. You can do that if you do it the way that they're doing it now, like Fear the Walking Dead is doing. Like even with Shane, you got a whole season of Shane background rather than in the comic books. It was only a couple of, you know, issues. Yeah. So. I think they're going to, I think they just, it's just every, it's the writings on the war for it to be the war. I just, I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want them to do this stupid shit. And, and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, uh, it's Enid. I'm, <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> I mean, we like Enid, but yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enid was out west and her family traveled across country and made it. Oh, come on. Nah, it's gotta it, be big names. Yeah, it's gotta be a big name here, but And I was actually surprised that he was very descriptive that it'll be one person. Yeah. You know, uh I was a little upset that he was saying it could go either way though. Uh, yeah. Was... You know, that's just yeah. he's that's just uh what is he doing? He's being impressionistic here. He's yeah. You know, I think if he said the wall of the Fear Walking Dead characters come with the Walking Dead, then everybody would know then that well, that show's ending. Yeah, you know, and it'd be even dumber if it was the like you, like you said, Jay. If if it's really like something like Morales, you know, his family, like oh, yeah, that that would that would be such a letdown. Even though we would like to see Morales again and see what happened to him, not 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 in this way, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> Not yet, Morales. You know, just wait. <laughs> no you can show episodes or something like that, but no, you can't. You can't spoil this one. Uh, and that was actually you speaking of webisodes. That was a a great question. What happened to the webisodes for both shows? Uh, they had the passage um, last year, last season for Fear the Walking Dead and Flight, um, uh, Flight ninety one. The, the first season, um, what happened to the webisodes for Fear the Walking Dead and the webisodes for The Walking Dead, and will they come back um, in terms of maybe Negan's backstory or possibly a character from the you know from Fear the Walking Dead such as Troy, Jake, or Jeremiah? Um, that's a good idea for both. So I would like to see you know Troy's backstory, how he got to that military compound. And I would love to see, obviously, I think they're doing it, but I don't think they're doing a webisode. I would love to see them have a Negan special, you know, where it's just like the Negan special in the comic book. Mm-hmm. Here's Negan. I would love to see that played on TV. So those are two things that could happen. But, you know, who knows? Um, they like to go completely left field when it comes to these webisodes and then kind of like draw them back into the show. So it's not obvious. Um, just by the pattern, you know, you know, the trends that they do for the webisodes, it's always, you know, um, the oath, you, you got to see where the don't open dead inside came from the green, the green Hyundai came from that episode. Um, Shane's green Hyundai from season two. And, um, and then obviously in season three, Rick had the Hyundai as well. Um, and then 
you got to see the bicycle girl, how she became the bicycle walker, you know, when she got torn apart. That was the first webisode. Then they went to cold storage, which was the second one. And you got to see a picture of Rick. And I think they mentioned it, you know, they mentioned that they stopped in the storage unit in the show. So they kind of like connect them a little bit, but it's always just little teeny pieces, almost like Easter eggs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we'll see. We get webisodes of more popular characters like Negan, uh, Governors, because I think the finances to get the actors there and the production value just correct when it equate you know quite quite right for that. Uh, Got to pay these guys big money, yeah. big money. Yeah, you know, David Morrissey, he loves coming back on the show. Just as like a dream sequence, yeah. But if you're gonna c- make him come back for like a three or four episode webisode, he's not gonna. You gotta pay him a lot of money, and even though it seems like the you know the budget for The Walking Dead is in, in, in is has no limit to it or infinite, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, just, it's so, not. It's one thing rich people like, and that's money, and they just don't want to squander it on you know pipe dreams. Yeah, and a lot of these, a lot of these characters are British, so you know, like David Morrissey is British, so he's he's got things going on in England. He's got he's got opportunities over there that he's coming. You're gonna have to buy them out of their contracts, pull them over here. I mean, when he has downtime, if he's over in, in the states, that's a good way to get him over here for like a dream sequence. But he's not gonna do like a three or four, you know, episode webisode just to do it. I mean, you gotta pay these guys. <laughs> Yeah. You know, he loves the show, but not that much. <laughs> you know, come on. Oh, yeah. So, you know, but it, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to keep it calm because I'm going to just beat myself up over it and lose a lot of sleep. And I know they're going to show it at like se- episode 16 of season eight. And the final, like the extra five minutes, they'll probably show who that character is. So that's a long time from now. <laughs> Yeah, you know. or I, I would love, or just like for the last cut, like scene from like uh, for the Walking Dead is just like Madison taking like uh, like the face of like a Walker and just like her kind of covering like over her face with it, and then yeah. just cut away and be like, "That's it, that's the show." Wow, we all I know mean, what's gonna happen from there, you know. How intense would that be? So you know, when you when you have a possibility like this, it's so it's so open ended. It's just. It's almost like a needle in a haystack trying to think of who it can be. But if you narrow it down, like I said, like Jay and I have been saying, it can't be anything, can't be anybody insignificant to the show. It has to be a major storyline coming up here Mm -hmm. Um, because you can't just cross these two shows over and just have a, you know, a passing by moment here. I just think that that's that's just a failure of an opportunity. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's, It's a complete failure. So, yeah. And I don't, I don't think we can leave loose ends. I think everyone besides that one person is going to die. Mm-hmm. You know, because um, they had to let go, basically, of their whole humanity behind them. So what, what I was going to... And then I just got a text message. Um, what are... what? All right, so Jay alluded to this a little bit earlier in the show, and we're going to let Jay take this... take off with this one. What exactly is Jay getting at with his predictions here? Um, He said, if you read between the lines, you can see not just read between the lines, but look at what some of these uh, stars are having in the future. What do you predict or what do you see happening, Jay? Spoiler warning. Obviously we could be wrong. Yeah. For each of the characters in Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah. What do you, who do you see getting X from the show? Either because they have an opportunity or because you've seen their name somewhere, or just, you know, just from the clues that the show has given you. So, who do you see not making it, either at the season finale or soon thereafter? Uh, I think season four is going to be the last season. Uh, so I think I think everyone but Madison is going to be killed off. I think Nick will be later on. Uh, yep. I think Strand and Salazar's time is running out. I think Strand has made a deal. Which is going to compromise a Dan, which is going to then compromise himself. Yep. Um, at the same time, I'm not sure how much longer Salazar has with his character arc. Uh, nope. I, I think he's going to try to do the right thing 
and he's gonna try to find peace. I hope he finds peace as a character. I mean, that poor, poor guy's got all kind of haunted memories and everything. I hope he does something to kind of redeem himself, mm -hmm. uh, where he kind of let go finally. Um, maybe he sacrificed himself so Madison and, and uh, her kids can survive. Yep. Uh, Walker, crazy dog. Um, Go on. Yeah. Season for now. Yeah. Don't see much about <laughs> them. Uh, really, there's no clues as far as where they're going to go. I don't think the dam's going to last. I, like, the shows will love this tearing down, like, fortifications. And so that way the season starts with them scrounging for something. Uh, yep. I, I hope they kind of make their way east. Uh, so that way it builds up to the finale where, you know, Madison's already over on the east coast. And yep. she becomes the alpha. Yep. I, I think you're right. I think the dam is gone after next week. I think the leader of the dam, I can never get her name right. She's dead. Yeah. I think that I think that is gonna come down to Salazar and Strand. I think I think Salaz I think Strand's time is coming to a close. I think you're gonna have a moment of gumption or whatever you wanna call it for Salazar where he's gonna have you know, he's gonna make a decision a strand, I should say. Where he's going to make a decision that's going to cost him his life mm -hmm. or cost him a relationship with maybe Madison. I could see actually Madison getting mad at him and, and shooting him and killing him. I think uh, Walker and uh, Crazy Dog are dead. I think that they're not going to make it. They're going to they're gonna die um, in this next coming episode. And I think you're right. I think Salazar is going to be the last man standing, you know, as you would say, I think he's going to sacrifice himself for Madison to, to find her children or to reunite with her children only for Madison to see her children have perished. Um, so it's almost like Madison kind of saw, you know, had a had a premonition of what's going to happen to her. I really think that Madison's going to find her children either dead or walkers or dying. And it's going to propel her into becoming, you know, the alpha. And like Jay said, I don't see this show lasting past for if they go five seasons maybe i doubt it not with the announcement that came i just i see i see them just completely merging the two shows man <laughs> I just, yeah I can't, yeah i can't see anything else other than that so i gotta agree with you jay i think that that's a a great prediction if they do last past season four i think it's season five and and that's it um they're losing too much viewership they've had you know, writer change. They've already gotten the okay to merge the shows when they originally said they would never do it. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to do it, you know, in an insignificant way. I, I just, the writing's on the wall. And like Jay said, there's a lot of, if you look at the movies coming up for some of these characters and the roles coming up, these characters are getting some predominant roles. You, I'm, we're not going to spoil who they are. Obviously, you can go on IMD and see for yourself. I just did. You can see that some of these characters are getting some big roles, and they're pretty significant characters. So, you know, make of it what you will. Yeah, and that, that has always been a cue for uh, you know the Walking Dead cast. You see a, a big signing for like a lot of uh, the actors, and you know something's going to happen. Tyrese, he got mm -hmm. signed a sci-fi project. Uh, yeah. You know, Tyrese Sasha. got signed. Sasha got signed to Star Trek. Yep. Glenn got signed to the uh, to the uh, the movie Okja. Which was the uh, Brad Pitt movie that he made out there um, in uh, Korea? So Okja, and that's actually on Netflix. I watched that movie. It's, it's a unique movie. Um, I obviously watched it because of Glenn being in it. Um, yeah. You know, Beth had the the album coming out. Um, you know, Shane had the Punisher coming out. He had a couple of other movies that he was involved in. You knew his character wasn't going to last long because of the st the, the comic book storyline. Yeah. Um, so you know you. The big one was Sasha with Star Trek. So when you see somebody get signed to a TV show, they can't do both. It's almost like bye bye. You know, and they kind of tricked us with Norman Reedus, but that show was so unique and it was done on his off time. And he chose to do it. It was like a special show just for him. Yeah. You know, so that was the exception to the rule. <laughs> you know, but everybody got worried. I got worried though. I did too when I saw that it was Ride with Norman Reedus. I thought that there was going to be a continuous thing, but it was just a special for yeah. him. You know, he wanted to do it and he had become so big, they let him do it. He also had a couple of other movies that were kind of crap, but he knew that they were, you know, he, they were paying, they weren't paying him significant money for those movies. 
know, whatever. Um, but we'll see, man. So good prediction by Jay. Again, I got tons of questions. We're going to get to them uh, in about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll be jumping in the Walking Dead uh, mode yeah. here pretty soon. We two got weeks. Two part finale coming up next week, and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. I think we're going to see a lot of people die. I'm not sure if it's going to be a clean slate. Everyone's, everyone's going to die, but I think a lot of people are, and I think it's going to start moving the show towards East Coast. Yes, and I think it's going to start moving the show toward the finish line. Um, like Jay said, I think that this is going to be the beginning, as they would say, the beginning of the end. Um, whether it's next season or the season after that, this show is coming to a, you know coming to a head one way or another. The news of the merger. Remember what we're saying here? We predicted it. You know, it's, it's a prediction. It's just a prediction. Is we don't have any inside information, but just the mergers, you know, of the two shows or one character is just spelling the end. Um, just in a in a slight way, just you know, it's and and that's okay. It's okay for shows to end. Yeah. You know, I mean, huh. I I think if it was to end now, I'd be much more impressed with the show than I was before. You know, uh, yeah. I'd rather see it end on a good high note than it to drag on and give a bad taste in your mouth. Correct. Correct. So hey, man. So we got this big finale, the double, the two part for next week. Send your questions on the finale and what you think. This is a challenge to uh, some of the viewers that I have, that, that the faithful viewers that watch and anybody else who watches. Uh, send us the questions on what you think uh, the show is going to, how do you think the show is going to go after the finale? So obviously watch the finale and send us your opinions on what you think is going to happen for season four. Um, also, maybe, you know, send us your thoughts on who you think is going to be a crossover. No trolling answers here. Like, don't say anything stupid like Shiva. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> hey, we want... at San Diego Zoo. Yeah. yeah, she's at the San Diego Zoo. Yeah, yeah. he's there. She escapes. Yeah. Um, so you know, send us that if you want, and obviously, gear up your questions for season eight. We got plenty of them. And um, hey, man, like I said, it was a, you know, it's it leaves you wanting to see the finale, unlike seasons past so I, I really think that this was a great season and i can't wait to see how they end it and i hope they don't end it on some something very dumb <laughs> so. yeah and i think if they were announced this the final season it, it makes you want to watch because it's almost like in towards the end of the movie where you know like all right now here comes you know the end you know this is where everything's gonna start gearing up yeah what's gonna happen you know it's gonna have to come to some sort of conclusion uh yeah. but we'll see you know, we'll have to wait and see. It could be completely There's, wrong. Like James said, we have no idea. We don't know these people. We're not. We don't know. Them. <laughs> Jay knows them, but I don't know. Jay actually has dinner with them, you know, once a week. Ah, it's just casual. We don't bring up work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hey, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, chat, if you have any more quick questions, go ahead and type them in real fast. Uh, otherwise, I'll do another quick spiel at the end. Uh, once again, we're a charity. Uh, Organization, well, I don't want to say organization, but uh, all money and proceeds from ads uh, or otherwise goes towards charity. There are links yep. down below towards uh, for charities like American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and the Red Cross, which is currently trying to raise funds for hurricane relief. If you guys can donate, please do. If you guys can donate, we understand that. Uh, we can always do to help out is just to like, subscribe, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Check out Echo5Studios.com. Uh, spread the word. You know, the more uh, views we get, the more ad revenue we get, the more revenue we get, the more we can donate towards charity. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, once again, I appreciate everyone's questions, comments, and the viewers. Uh, if we don't get to your questions today, go ahead and leave them in the comments, uh, either for the video or YouTube video, or send a little contact link on echo5studios.com, and we'll get to them before uh, the next show. Yep. All right, man. It's a good show. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys at the finale. See you at the finale, everybody.